Benedict XVI celebrated Sunday Mass with one million people in Angola. It was the largest concentration of people during the Pope's first trip to Africa as pontiff. The high number of faithful eager to see the Pope is a sign of growing Catholicism in Africa. However, one event ended in tragedy when a stampede broke out, killing two women and wounding more than 50, hours before the Pope addressed some 30,000 young people. Benedict XVI recalled the incident with sadness during the Angelus. A seus familiares e amigos, exprimo a minha solidariedade. Eu mais vivo pensar a ti porque vieram para me encontrar. Ao mesmo tempo, rezo pelos feridos. Cardinal Tarcisio Bertone visited those wounded at the hospital and prayed before the bodies of the two young women who lost their lives. A special importance was given to youth in Angola, where more than half the population is under 18. Adding to the meeting he had with young people the day before, Benedict XVI had a special message for Africa's youth during his homily. Queridos jovens amigos, vos sois a esperança do futuro de vosso país, a promessa de uma amândia melhor. The Pope spoke against violence produced by the belief in witchcraft and urged Christians to live in peace with those who practice it, but help convert them as well. He also reflected on the scars left by constant wars in Africa and the many victims claimed in Angola, one of the continent's most landmined countries. As nuvens do mal obscureceram tragicamente também a África, incluindo esta amada nação angolana. Pensemos no flagelo da guerra, nos frutos terríveis do tribalismo e das rivalidades étnicas. Na avidez que corrompe o coração do homem, reduz a escravidão aos pobres e priva as gerações futuras dos recursos de que terá a necessidade para criar uma sociedade mais solidária e justa. As one million Angolans celebrated with the Pope 500 years of Christianity in their country, Benedict XVI asked to be grateful for those who brought it as a sign of unity among the human race.